Hey guys, Gregc96 here, playing some Human Resource Machine. Uh, this is a game I saw it being played by Jenny B on the YouTubes, and it looked fun, and I decided to play it. And I played it for a while, and I didn't record any of it, but that was on my laptop while I was at school. So, when I clicked onto the game here, yes, please, select your employee ID. I'll do this. I have a photo here somewhere, which is yours, I'm that chick, why not? Pink. Here's your badge. Please proceed to the elevator. So basically, it's kind of like a programming logic type game. Ah, uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute. First, I'd like to get started by saying I apologize for any background noise. Uh, they're doing some construction out there on my street. Welcome to your first day. You look like an excellent instruction follower. First job will appear over there on the right side in a moment. Remember, you can always ask me for help. Drag commands to this area to build the program. The program should tell a worker to grab each thing from the inbox and drop it to the outbox. Drag. Are we ready? Click run. But I'm smarter than that. We need to go inbox, outbox, inbox, outbox, inbox, outbox. Because we have three things. We're going to run it. But yeah, so there's construction going on outside, flattening my road. <laughs> <coughs> Sneeze. Yay, I did it! Presence is requested on the next floor. Ooh. You're too. Busy mail room. Well, looks like you've made it this far. Congratulations. Most people stress out and quit before making it this far, but I can tell you have a bright future in your inbox outbox management. Here's your new assignment. Grab each thing from the inbox and drop one thing into the outbox. You got a new command. You get the jump command. So I jump. It's kind of like a... Yeah, it's a jump command. It allows me to kind of make like a for loop of inbox, outbox. Until string dot length. Because it's a string. It's all letters. So basically it's four int x equals zero. X is less than string dot length. Inbox, outbox. <laughs> Pretty much, that's what it is. And I can do this to move faster. So I don't have to sit through the crap. Yeah! Woo! Presence is requested on the next floor. Copy floor. Oh no! Inbox conveyor system is completely broken, but that doesn't mean we get to take a break. Ignore the inbox for now and send the following three letters to outbox. Bug. From four. Outbox. Copy. From zero. Outbox. Co copy from three. Outbox. I put the word bug on the conveyor. Yeah! So I apologize about like this little... This line here and this line here. Because uh, I still haven't gotten my green screen lighting quite figured out. Scramble or handle or year four. Conveyor system is fixed. It only took a year. Just in time for you to get to work. Data won't collate itself. Grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them in the outbox in reverse order. And I can copy two. So inbox, copy to zero, inbox, copy to. Oh, I don't need that actually. So inbox, copy to zero, outbox. Copy from zero. Outbox. Jump. Because basically it'll go inbox, put it in zero. Outbox. Uh, inbox, copy to zero. Inbox, outbox, copy from zero, outbox. That should do it. Yay. We did it. Your presence is requested on the next floor. 
Coffee time. They're all enjoying their coffee. How nice. Mmm, yes. Back to work, everyone. Ha 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 ha. Power failure, uh oh. I feel like this game has some dark undertones. Just me. Hmm. Rainy summer. In the heat of the Indian summer. Ugh! Welcome to my personal rain cloud. I was never very good at math since I only have three fingers on each hand. But I hear you don't actually need to know very much about math to complete these assignments. Each two things in the inbox. Add them, put the result in the outbox. So you got a new command. Adds the contents of a tile on the floor to whatever value you're holding. So inbox, copy to zero. Inbox, add zero. Outbox. Right, inbox puts it in zero. Inbox adds it with zero, outbox, then inbox puts it, yeah, should be good. Yay! Did it. But yeah, so no. My, if I move my head really fast... No, it's more if I move my hand really fast. You can kind of... You can kind of see green around the edges. So I'm still trying to get the green screen. Totally figured out. I'm also a little sick. Zero exterminator. Year seven. Where do you see yourself in five years? Not in a shithole. Or ten years. I have a note here from your other boss that says, From this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. What a treat. Send all things that are not zero to the inbox. So inbox. Jump of zero. Outbox. Yes. I think that's good. I did it. Oh, size and speed challenge. Optimizations, and I got eight, because I want to go in order. Who are you? This optional area is for high performing employees only. You're late, seven years late. Make some changes, 100% performance increase. Extra scrutiny. Each thing in the inbox, triple it. Inbox to zero. Add zero. Add zero. Outbox jump. Because that'll add it to itself twice. So boom. 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 Outbox. Yeah! I could have done it less than that if I had a jump if zero, because if it was zero, I could have just jumped out box. Nine. Zero Preservation Initiative. Has come to our attention that the zero advocacy community felt the previous assignment was not inclusive. This time sent only zeros to the outbox. What happens to the other numbers and letters? Management leaves that up to you. Inbox. Jump if zero. Outbox. But if it's not zero, it'll just jump back to inbox. And now we want it to. Yeah. Let's do it. Yay! Presence was requested on the next floor. Five or fewer, I did it. Speed challenge. Oh. Okay, whatever. Octoplayer. You can always check your own performance on each assignment. Two green lights next to each button in the elevator will tell you how you're doing. Anything in life more thrilling than self-improvement. Multiply it by eight. Using a bunch of ad commands is easy but wasteful. Can you do it using only three ad commands? Yes. 
Binary. Okay. Inbox. Copy to zero. And then I do an add, which gives me the two. And I copy that to one. I, mean, I could copy it to zero, I guess, too. And. I can do it using only one add command, actually. <laughs> I'm smart. So inbox, copy it to zero. Then I add to zero. That gives it two. Then I copy it to zero and add zero. Gives me four. Copy it to zero and add zero. Gives me eight. Ow, but I don't have a limiter. <laughs> Damn it. I could do that. Except if I did that, I'd have to I'd have to have a way to limit the number of jumps. If I could limit the number of jumps, this would be easy. Like if I could make it only jump x times, this would be super easy. So f 2, that's 4 times. That's 8 times. Oh, box, yeah. Binary, yeah. If I had a jump of zero, I could also do it quicker. Because if it's a zero, just go bloop. Nine or fewer, I use nine. Speed challenge. I, I did it the fastest way possible. Okay. Sub hallway. Tetra contiplier? What the hell? Is that 40? Subtraction? I never learned that in school, did you? We're a good team. <laughs> Subtract the first from the second. So, start with inbox. Subtract the first from the second. Subtract, subtract, subtracts the contents of a tile on the floor from whatever you're holding. Copy to zero. Inbox. Now I gotta copy that to one. Now I'm holding the second, so I'll subtract zero. Outbox. Then I'll copy the first, subtract the second, outbox, jump. I could probably use the jump of zero to make it work better, but. Yep, let's see how I did it, 10 or fewer. Yep. Speed challenge. Oh, okay. Maybe I couldn't use the jump of zero to make it work better. Tetracontiplier, number 12. What a wonderful feeling. When all day, all your work over the last few years comes together, culminates in a well-executed assignment. Multiply it by 40. Four slots. 40 is not binary. 8, 16, 32, 32, and 8. Yeah. So, inbox, copy two, zero, add zero, copy to one, that's going to give me my one, two, four, eight, sixteen, make a thirty-two, add eight, so yeah, add one. Copy to two. Add two. Copy to three. Add three. Copy to four. Add four. Copy to four. Add four. Add, so that's the one, two, four, eight, sixteen. Add three. Oh, box. It's 
Let's see it. I got four. This one wants to be 80. Oh, what the hell? How did that get there? That would have been right, though. I did the math correct. Once again, jump of zero might be nice. Oh, I used 15 commands. What? How do I do this better, then? Oh, I don't need that. Duh. It's extra steps. That would be what I did wrong. I had that extra copy. There we go. Let's get to the employee morale insertion. And then we'll call it a day. Sometimes some numbers are bigger than other numbers. And sometimes they're the same. How can we know? I write about that here in this great book. Which number are you for the aspirational zero? You can borrow it later. Get two things from the inbox. If they're equal, put one in the outbox. Ooh, I have comments now. Equal. So, inbox. Copy to zero. They are equal, put one of them in the inbox. Okay. Copy it to zero. Inbox. Copy it to one. Subtract zero. Jump of zero. So if it becomes zero, it's so a copy from one, go to the outbox. But if it's not zero, I want it to go back to the beginning and start again. And then, I got comments now though. Let's see how this goes. There's the construction noise I told you about. Boom. Okay, I did it. My programming teacher would be so proud. Oh, 10 commands. How do I make it less commands? Oh, I don't technically need that. Because it won't affect the stored value, only the value in my hand. Okay, yeah, that works. Now I'm good. Oh, I can still do it in one last step? Screw it, I'm not sticking with it right now. We'll do this and call it an episode. There's been a change of plans! Accounting department has determined that treating all numbers equally is no longer profitable. Management wants the big numbers only. Two things, but only the bigger of the two. So inbox, copy to zero. Inbox, copy to one. And then, Copy or sub zero. Okay. If it's negative, that means one. So if it's negative, 
we want to copy from one, go to the out box. If it's zero, same thing. Copy from one, out box, because that doesn't matter. But if it's neither of those things, we want to have an else that copies from zero. It goes to the out box. Now we need some jumps. I feel like I'm doing this with way too many steps. But let's see. Bang. Uh-oh. Now I did it right. Yeah, now I did it right. I just did them backwards. I picked the wrong memory address. Yay! I'm a wizard. Ten or fewer. How can I do this with ten or fewer? Let's see. I can do that from zero. Copy from one. And that the copy from zero. If those go to there. Helped a little bit. I guess that technically doesn't matter. That's still not. That still should work. But. I didn't do 10 commands. I'm getting closer. What can I do differently? I gotta copy both of them. I gotta subtract one. If it's negative, we wanted to do that. What if we do this? Then if it's negative, we just don't do that. That work? Yeah, there we go. Oh, what? Two. Negative seven. Subtract zero. the problem so if I pull a negative it won't copy this one yeah 
there's the problem. No, that'll create a endless loop. So, subtract zero, copy from zero. Oh, that jump if negative doesn't really do anything, huh? Subtract zero. If the result is negative. Oh, no, I don't want that in yet. If the result's negative, means that one was bigger. So I don't want to copy that. Sure. Specific numbers. Here, I'll give you some inputs that cause your solution to fail so you can see for yourself. Okay. Okay. So if the result is negative, I don't want to pick up one. I want to pick up zero. Oh. If I'm in here, I want to jump that. Puts me to 11. This one should work. More efficient than my first one. Okay, screw it, I'm done. Employee morale insertion, year 15. <laughs> That's how I saved a bundle. Back to work, everyone. <laughs> the news comes on. A massive army of machines has surrounded the city. The machines are not moving, and they are not communicating. Local authorities are investigating. Local authorities are investigating, as the usual. <laughs> Career milestone two. All right, we're close to the next milestone, but I think that is where we will call it an episode. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, leave a comment down below telling me what you'd like to see me do in the future, or telling me how I was so stupid on the maximization room, and it was obvious the way to do it. Um, that, yeah. Go to bigboxgamers.com, check out the rest of the guys, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace!